Hey! Hey! <laughs> Guys, you know I only found out about this recently. Did you know that there's fully grown adults out there and they don't drink coffee? Did you know <laughs> they exist? Yeah, there's always one, isn't there? Looking at your smile and going, I just get up with motivation. Yeah, do you? <laughs> But this is more of a public service announcement than anything. For people out there who don't drink coffee, I just want to let you know, in the morning when it's early, uh, when the rest of us normal people are getting a coffee, and I, I say this with all sincerity, I mean this with love, get the fuck out of the way, just. <laughs> because I found myself in a situation, pretty early in the morning I was in the cafe, I'm behind one guy, and he just said this with all the confidence in the world. He just said it to the guy behind the counter. He just said, uh, hey, can I, mate, can I just get a takeaway hot chocolate? the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing? <laughs> we need to get a coffee. You need to go to the supermarket and get some Cocoa Pops. Like that's, <laughs> that's not an adult's order, you know? I need Chocky and me Tum Tum. Yum, yum. <laughs> and people say that. They go, no, but I'm a chocoholic. You have to understand I'm a chocoholic. <laughs> are you? Are you? Like you need chocolate like the rest of us need coffee, do you? Like you need chocolate just to get up in the morning, do you? You need chocolate just to be civil to people in society. You need chocolate to keep your family together. Because <laughs> you have to understand, I've got two gorgeous kids at home, I love them dearly, but you have to understand also that coffee turned up first. <laughs> okay, I'll give away the kids before I give away the coffee, all right? I will take my long black over those two short whites. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. Also, at a time in my life, uh, I just dream about retirement. I dream about it. I love doing this, but oh, retiring. <laughs> like, you ever talk to a retiree? How awesome does their day sound? What are you up to today? Uh, I gotta go to the post office. <laughs> and that's the end of their sentence. Like, <laughs> great. You've hit your KPI, go home, watch the chase. Like, that's awesome. It's <laughs> great. The only problem with retiring is it's wasted in a time in your life when you have the least amount of energy. People are like, you don't have to work now, what do you want to do? I want to get a mobility scooter, I want to go nappy poos, that's what I want to do. <laughs> Personally, I think it should be reversed. I think you shouldn't have to work your entire life, then you start a job in the twilight years and you work that every day until your death. <laughs> I call it the King Charles. <laughs> also, last year, I want to be honest with you guys, I got a little bit of work done. I did. I got some work done. Uh, I got a vasectomy. Yes. <laughs> My eyes are up here, mate. And uh, <laughs> dudes don't like talking about vasectomies. They absolutely don't like talking about it. Like in hushed tones, men would ask me about it, like, did it hurt? Did it hurt? What, hurt as much as paying for childcare for another five years? No, no, it's <laughs> fine, to be honest. And it's weird, I think we should talk about vasectomies more. Like, we talk about abortion, don't we? You read that in the news. Abortion, people talk about that. You know, whether it legally or morally, it's right or wrong. But realistically, in that conversation, what you're talking about is unwanted births. And if you want to stop that from happening, I think you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> personally, I know. <laughs> I think, personally, every man should be forced to get a vasectomy once they hit puberty, and then they have to sit an IQ test to see if they can get it reversed. <laughs> Works, huh? <laughs> Think about it, everyone wins. Ladies, you can dodge a bullet. Your partner comes home, he's like, I failed the test. You're like, oh, mum was right. <laughs> but if you see any dads with kids, you know they're not deadbeat dads. They're like, they studied for it. Look at that. They came home like, babe, look at this test. I got an A. And she's like, looks like you just got a V. Get in there, study buddy. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Have a great night. <laughs>